Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Little Baggett here today, and we are on that back on Monster Energy Supercross 3 for the Malcolm Stewart Championship. So if you like this content in person, hit that like button and that subscribe button for more of your motor supercross motocross content. And now let's get started. And when I hit 300 subscribers, I will be doing a face cam. When I hit 300 subscribers, I will have a face cam. So yeah, when I hit 300, man, I will have a face cam. And here we are, and I have one. We're gonna give them a head start. Just like we did in last night's stream on Monster Energy 2. Keep a web with the whole shot. I had to get back into the physics, but who cares? That's what makes the championship fun. I give them head swords to challenge myself. This is like one of the best supercross games between one through five. But wait, we hadn't played six yet. That's March 9th. I will be watching it when it first drops. And you guys are probably wondering where has Ghost Gaming been? Where has Shoto Boat been? They went to PC. But they will be back when Monster Energy 6 comes. And we'll be having the live stream with them. So they will be back. If y'all was just wondering where did they go? Like, that's where they went to go. They are doing MX bikes. And, but, who cares? I don't need MX bikes. I got these games that I could think about doing content like but thank y'all for so much for the support and everything like I really appreciate it this channel has grown so much and I've been posting most of like, I've been posting every day of this week I'm gonna be post every day. I'm gonna post every day till Monster Energy Six comes. And we are we're up all the, we're up to tenth. I'm at, I'm at, like, at least try to get onto the top, top five. Ooh, I thought I was gonna, I I was gonna look right there. But it's Cooper Webb out front. The number two of the Cooper Webb is waiting here in Anaheim. But we're up to.
I am at the six. We're looking at two laps to go, I guess. That feels like two to go. Um, right there. I see. I see fourth. And we are, we got to pass for fifth. And all right, Malcolm Stewart is trying to get on Alan Plessing to the second. And he is flying. And there is still one lap remaining. Oh, come on. There's now there's no way he's catching the number two of Cooper Webb. Oh, new scan. Trying to make the May for the podium. And inside on passenger. And we're all we're up to second, and right there is Cooper Webb. Are we going to catch him? With a half a lap remaining. Doesn't look like it. I don't think we're gonna have enough time. And Malcolm says it's gonna be a little too late. Final corner, Cooper Webb will win the season opener. Malcolm still at second. Cam Bailey third. Marvin Muskin fourth and Alan Plessinger fifth. Going into going down for round two of the Malcolm Stewart Championship. He has the speed and the Give them another head start. Head start. New scan with the whole shot. Oh wait, we're catching them. Ah, oh, this section's I just I don't I never know how to hit this section. Chad lead out front. Whoa! Triple. Oh, I just give away. Dang, you must have went down. Now 
way on inside the top 10. for the podium. Into the woods, that wood speed is insane. And made the pass on Marvin Mitch can. Our next rider is the number 22, Chattery. And we're gonna have a new leader in Glen Pool in Glendale, and it's the number 27 of uh, I might really get some back. Mm, can I come still make it stick? Yes. In this section, can I? Yeah, I still got it. What well, part is Cooper Webb in? Not inside the top 10. He's in 13th at the moment. Malcolm Stutz, one of my favorite riders this season. But, uh, like, he's always been my favorite rider since, like, back on that 250s, too. But it sucks, like, he has the speed to win, but he's getting injured now. We're going to have two laps to go. And we're going to go first person, mate. Oh, gosh. Next up, it's gonna be final lap. Cooper has finally got inside the top 10. Stay in this section. So one for the triple. Still got it. What's up? Oh. Nope. 
Final time through these loops. Final corner, and we're going to have a new points leader. Malcolm Stewart gets this round call, gets the win out round two. Cooper Webb will climb his way up to eighth, and but still has second in the points of a Marvin Moose game. You can tell these guys have been. We'll give them a head start. Very an out fight and waiting this race. Cooper Webb's in six. And we have caught the tail end of the pack. Shot down and killing those glaciers. I just can't hit that random section. Man. That's what's killing me. But we're all up to 10th. So that's pretty good. This section's killing me. I'm hitting it okay then. Oh, and we just got around the number three of you on Tomac. Our next one is that title label, keep the web. And a whole bunch of others. And stop. So. 
Anderson loses the lead to Tim Ferry. Here comes Malcolm Stewart. Ah, it's an interception. Like. Went from third to home, I suppose. It's gonna be a white flag next lap around him. We have a battle for the lead. No one. He, couldn't, he didn't hit the double. Oh, dude. Whoa, what a slow down. And white flags in the air. And careful webs up to third. Battling for the lead. The inside, Malcolm, whoa, whoa, and I'm down. Now I'm off. And Seth, two for one special? Nope. And Malcolm starts back in another one position. Ah, oh, man, mistake. Big one couldn't get it. But it's gonna be, will it be a final corner move. Now gonna steal it around the outside. Who won that? Who won? I don't even know who won. And Malcolm Stewart will get the win here at Anaheim 2 over Jason Anderson. And gets his second win of for the number 27 of Malcolm Stewart. We are at the Oakland Alameda Coliseum. Here we are in Oakland. Nice. NBA Daily. Give them, we'll give them a head start once again. Oh, God. It's like a maze going through these tough rocks. I'm not trying to lag. in the number 22 position right now. Uh, okay. 
case to finish on. We have climbed our way up to 18. So making passes. So far this not this hasn't been a good race. Because we've been making a lot of mistakes. And we are now up to the number two position. Can we catch Alan Plessinger? And yeah, that was easy. Now I missed the shift. White flag, one, two, go. We have a 2.6 second lead over oh, Elm Preston. Just make that 4.7. Last time to the sand. Come there. Here we come, spawn our corner. 
Malcolm still at one story in a row. Here are the official results of the main event. Let's take a look to see how your favorite rider did tonight. Malcolm still wins in Oakland. Preston just second and Blake back at third. Cooper Webb still sits second in the points. What a great battle! Going again to San Diego. Supercross is back on the west coast of the United States. He has the speed and the... Give them another head start. I just hit and just make small moves. So I need to do. Tomac is out front. Spotty second and new skin third. Well, we are back in. Back in. Yeah, that's not right. 18th. So we're making quickly moves. So. up to 18th Up to 18th. Yeah, take that back 17. Now we have made it into the top ten. Oh, I'm on a stake. Oh, that was going to end up. My next order is the number 16 of Zach Osborne. Oh, man, 
that's the guy on that table. Timex now in the lead, now mine's new skin once again. But time I'm in the second lead, no mind. But Malcolm Stewart, round the outside. Can he get it? He will get around to Mac, but not me scan. But now he gets by me scan. And Malcolm still it. Have fun. That's gonna hurt Cooper Webb. That Coop, that's because Cooper Webb is sitting in. 20 fuss. That is two championship points. White flag, one to get you. No time through these weights. And here he comes, Malcolm Stewart will win the San Diego Supercross. The checkered flag waves high in the air as this one is over. Here are the results from this hotly contested main event. You can tell these guys have been doing their work during the week. They came into this race fast, strong, and ready to battle. Here we are in Minneapolis. The mechanics are offering their final words of advice. The crowd is into it tonight. I don't know what round this is. What round this is for round six of the championship. Gonna give them a head start. I have to beat the tough rocks, so. That was fast, well, I caught 20 foes. He put Webb with another bad start. He's way in the back. I'm just launch myself into that bag. Man, we are singing 14th. The seventh. Who's that from? Jason Anderson. With Neil Saps and Justin Buggle right there. 
But Malcolm Stewart gets around Johnson and Baggett. So that'll come up to four. Then out. He is going after Anderson, Millsaps, and Justin Bogle. Anderson takes the lead. But Malcolm's trying to get. Uh, he's at the go now. And Malcolm still it's nine over again. But and so oh I overshot it. Well, Cooper Webb's up to fifth, so he's made a good amount of passes. Oh, Malcolm's just going to the inside on David Mills has some kids to leave. Let's go a little too holy and we're off the track. And Malcolm still it. Has now got himself into that number one position. Went too far wide. When well, he's going to join it. Ah, oh, Anderson shut the door on him. Malcolm's trying to do anything he can to get around the number one. Of Jason Anderson. And right here it is. And so. Uh, and we have a new leader in Minneapolis. And here. And it's the number 27 of Malcolm Stewart. In it and he is pulling a gap. It's gonna be two laps to go right now. The next lap around will be white flag. Next lap around. Triple and out. Oh, I wanna have to try and make a mistake. Get back on. Double. Triple. Nice double. It's going to be final lap. White flag is in the air. And here he comes. Final time down the straightaway. Final corner. Malcolm Stewart will get another win to his name. Wow, what a race. Let's take a look at the official results from the Man Malcolm Stewart wins here in Minneapolis. Anderson second and Millsap Stewart. That'd be Malcolm Stewart's fifth win of the season. And Cooper Webb sets only two points in front of Eli Tomac. Second in the points Fantastic going into round seven. Going into Arlington. He has
has the speed and the... The Riders are lined up. Get up. I'm going to head south. New skin with the whole shot. Malcolm Stewart is up into the top 10, but making more moves, man. But Tomac needs to get going. He needs to beat the number two of Cooper Webb. He's only two points down from second. And both in Cooper Webb is sitting in the number two position. But now comes up to third and make that second. Almost. And Malcolm Stewart's in the lead. He gets around more than me skin. Oh, I went down. I think it's gonna be white flag, I think, next level around. Well, I'm gonna say that.
coming close. Mm, wait. Cause I don't want to know I And this, if it's that close to like the time and stuff, I'll wait. White flag. Can Cooper Web? Well, I meant to say, can oh, and Eli Tomac and Web about and Millsaps. Millsaps just went down. Final time in the loops. And here he comes. Malcolm Stewart will win here in Arlington. That was an incredible main event. For round seven. Come up on the screen, showing how they and Hippolyte the gets a full jump. point lead. A few surprises in the finishing order of this one. Over Eli Turner for second in the points and Malcolm Stewart six went on the season going to round eight. Going into Detroit. Give them another head start. Let's give them a long one because I've been winning a whole bunch. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna be my toughest comeback. And that's shape and shit. Now steps is in post. Tom X in twelve. Cooper Webb's in 19th. Oh my gosh. Why did I go up to the middle? if I had not made a pass yet. This is a 21st. Um, it's um, I know I'm then, so... I'm not gonna go a whole bunch of passes. All bunched up right here. I 
launching into that section. It's on the step block. Up to eight. Now on to the podium. Next on it is Justin Bogle. Oh, Millsaps goes down and Malcolm Stewart. What a comeback from Dan last. Two first but with him with 59 seconds remaining. So we got two laps remaining here in Detroit. White flag, one, two, go. Now it's absence off the podium. But final time to this loop section. And Malcolm Stewart will light the candles in Detroit. What a season he is having. A tremendous race tonight and a hard fought victory for our winner. Let's take a look at the final result. You that makes win number seven for Malcolm Stewart. Going into Atlanta. Mercedes Benz Stadium, and the crowd is into it tonight. This is round nine of the Malcolm Stewart Championship. The next race is Daytona. Let's give them a head start.
Justin Blayton out front with Tomac in second and new skin in third. Got the pass made. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Seventeenth, because I just got past Ricky Johnson. But making more passes, I just go home. Tristan Bogle. I'm up to six. Home mistake. No, it's James Studio bombing. But not for long, because I am just. Eli Tomac is out front. Oh, God, what was that? Next out is Cooper Webb. Webb will go down to fifth. White flag, one, two, go. And Malcolm Stewart, finally. Oh, almost had second. Gets around the news can. But I don't think he's going to be catching time out. Oh, time I didn't do the triple out. It's going to come down to the whoops. 
Malcolm Stewart to the inside. Takes the lead. Malcolm Stewart wins in Atlanta. Final quarter pass over Eli Zomack. Moose game will take third. Moose game moves up to second in the points. Webb drops down to third and Tomac drops down to fourth. Going into round 10. And that's Daytona. And it's a mud race, so like five second head stole it because I suck in the rain. So five second head stole it. No, I did 10. Let me flip it up to 10. Oh, That's still in that Daytona. Get over that double out ways. to the ground. Then this pass will put me up to the number five position. I just, I don't know what I did, just go with that triple. Okay. This will pass will put me up to third. 
And got the pass made. Tom Mac would go down the throw because Malcolm Stewart moves up into that number two position. And now the next auto is Marvin Muskan. I did not go down. Oh. That section sucks. I mean, white flag. One to go. White flag. I'm just trying to double my way through this section, get the triple out at least. That's what happens when you go big in a mud. You end up. Oh my gosh, I went down again. Final corner. More than Muskan will win the Daytona Supercross. Malcolm Stewart will move and will get second. That was an incredible main event. And Tom McDowell, Muskan. Still holds down second in the points. Tom Mac moves up to third. Going into round 11. Going into Indianapolis. Then my head through it. Well, I was getting back on, there's no point for, for getting me respawn.
A white in the world, man. I mean, this game's going to put back to back ones. The web season is a strong opponent, man. He's singing 12. Take that back. He's not singing 12 no more. Uh, I'd get bounced off these ARs and run on uh, another AR. This I hit my both of my back brake, my front brake and my back brake. I still slow. Like oh my gosh, this ice is falling apart for me. Winds up the windows. One to go. Moose game. Wow, I just finally made the pass for fifth. Final corner, boy, bang him a win the Indianapolis Supercross. 
Moose came second, and Malcolm Stewart third. Boy Baggett takes the win. Moose came second, and Moose came third. Moose can still get second in the points. Tom Max stays in third, and Webb stays in fourth. Going into Seattle. Welcome to the beautiful Pacific Northwest. I'm you can hear the cheers. Get ready. What's this wet track? Oh, it's wet. Ten second head tour. I want to live early. Oh, gosh. That's what I get for going early. Passengers out front. Oh, that mom passenger crashes out of the way. So I don't know who is out front now. Lakey Johnson's out front. No. Up to Phelps. I just got around keep the web.
Okay, next stop's gonna be White Flag. Here in Seattle. White flag, one to go. And we just made the pass a couple of seconds ago. But trying to hang on. Oh, Ricky Johnson's there. And he gets by Malcolm. And Malcolm goes over the boys. And Ricky Johnson on that tush smoker is going to win in Seattle. Malcolm's still at second. Tonight, and a hard fought victory for our winner. Let's take a look. What a great battle! They fought bar to bar for the glory that comes with winning a Monster Energy Supercross. Going into Houston. Hey Jack, I need your help. Here in the Lone Star State of Texas. Ricky, are you ready for another exciting race? I was born ready, Ralph, and we can expect anything. From the crowd is into it tonight. That will definitely get these riders pumped up as they. Here we are in Houston for round 13 of this championship. Let's give him a head start. Tom McGuff the whole shot. Purple into the tough walks I go. Cooper Webb's out front with new skin right behind him. Up to 10, but making more passes. We still got three minutes remaining. Mm 
outside the woods and cut inside to make the pass for this will be for fourth and I got the pass made our last week's winner Ricky Johnson singing at number three position for how long because here comes the number 27 and he goes right bomb We may have a battle for the lead, picking it getting heated up between Malcolm Stewart and Cooper Webb. And Webb goes down at the end of the loops. So that's gonna be, Malcolm Stewart has made the easiest pass he can do. Two teammates are battling for that number two position back there. Keep a weapon, Marvin Mays can. Fifty six point seven is Malcolm Stokes. Oh, and Malcolm Stokes went down. Just leave down. And new skin gets around Cooper Webb. White frog in there, you. Check a flag for Malcolm Stew in Houston. Wow, what a race. Let's take a look at the official results from the main event. Those three rode the wheels off their machines. We have a tremendous chance. The mechanics are offering their final words of encouragement to their riders. We are ready to go racing. Ralph Shaheen here with Ricky Carmichael. Welcome to the Music City and Nissan. And here we are in Nashville, Tennessee. The roar of the crowd is deafening. 
for round 14 of this Malcolm Stewart Championship. Ugh, I'm like head, head start like always. I'm back with the whole shot. I don't know, pull, he pulled the whole shots down to 21st. Make that 22nd, because Malcolm Stewart just gets around him. But James Stewart, out front. So I'd like to make that tent. Triple out. Let's pass if we get around button for us in the fifth and we just did, so then we are up to fifth. Crash for the number twenty seven. I, t I totally forgot James still was in this game. And we have made the move on Cooper Webb. So that puts us into fifth. on Justin Bogle. I think it's going to be two to go the next lap around, but we got a battle for the lead between jo Ricky Johnson and James Stewart. But Malcolm Stewart just made a pass on Kyle Chisholm. So we're going to have two Stewart brothers versus Ricky Johnson. It's gonna be two laps remaining.
But Malcolm Stewart for the two for one special gets the pass made over his brother and uh, and Ricky Johnson. Two to go. Flag one to go. Final time to these whoops. Final corner. Malcolm Stewart will win here in Nashville. And the both of the brothers are got a one and two. Ricky Johnson died. You can tell these guys have been doing their work during the week. They came into this. Here we are in Denver. This is what they have been fighting for. Every rider has given everything they have to reach this point. Only a few of them have earned the right to race in the main event. Rouchy, listen to that crowd. He is definitely the favorite. Let's see if he can capitalize on that energy and get... Here we are in there, but gates are down. What's up, Caleb Johnson? What's up, man? No, oh, fudge, I forgot about that. I didn't even look at the time. Oh, I thought I was going to just uh, cut the... Good. Thanks, man. We appreciate it.
these are this game like this one it's one of my best games out of all the monster energy games one of the best that i'm pretty good at like monster 5 i'm i'm good at it but like monster 3 like that's when my speed was pretty good Now up to 13th. I play Monster 2. Yeah, I, I've been playing that a little bit. Like, I, I played it last night with the championship. That game's like that one. Out of all the Monster games. That one's very underrated. Like, it's a pretty good game. Like, most people just, like, don't like it because how the whips are, but I, I enjoyed that game. Yeah, Monster 2 is underrated, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Monster 2, like, I have a blast on it. Like, that game, like, I'm just, like, like, when I'm bored like, with Monster 5, I could, like, I go down with Monster 2 again and, like, just have a blast on it. Like, I have more fun playing the older games than, like, Monster 5. So that's why I've been doing the championships, like, on Monster 2 and Monster 3. Just waiting for Monster 6 to come out. Cause I already beat Monster 5 and stuff. But like... I just have... I have fun playing the older games. Mate, it's like, like most people are on Monster 2. Um, they don't like it because like how the whips are, like they're not free like as Monster 3 and 5 are. Like, they say like the bikes feel stiff, like I understand that, like, but that game was just fun for me. Like it took a while getting used to the whips, but like when you got used to those whips, the game was a blast. Like on t two and three, I had the most fun on. Want to go? Body keep taking the insides. Like, I, f I just feel faster taking the insides on some of these corners on this track. Like before the rhythm section, I take the inside, but like on some of the on some of these tracks, I take inside. Like it just feels faster for me. Oh, well, I get tarmac. It's gonna be a drag race. Final corner, and Malcolm Stewart wins it in them, but with the final corner pass over Eli Tarmac. Let's take a look at the official results from the main event. 
That's 11 wins for Malcolm Stewart. The best Supercross riders in the world are lined up in this starting gate here at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Ricky, you have to be in great shape to win in this stadium. The altitude is certainly <laughs> Good job. Thanks, man. That was a tough comeback, honestly. But I just put my legs. Round 16. Give it to me. Head stole it. Can I add another win to my name? It was. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, oh, see, I, that's the worst part about giving them a head start. They're just tough blocks. What do you keep waiting for a second? Um, like, I like to challenge myself. On these games, on the old games, like, I always try to give them a head start. Just, I just want to challenge my stuff for these championships to make them, like, more interesting and stuff. So, like, that's, that's why I wait. Like, give the AIs a little bit of head start and stuff. This makes the, it just makes the game fun for me because how fast I am. Like, I just like to challenge myself. Ah, oh, screw up right there. Up to thirteenth. Now we're in the top ten. I'm supposed to be in bed right now, but I'm watching. I'm watching you because you're so good at this game. Thanks, man. Oh. Ah. Yeah, like, I have a lot of hours into this game. Like, back in the day, that's all I played. When this game first came out, that was the, this was the only game I was playing. Wait out, he can Like I back in the days when they did um Silver Cross three championships with online, I I actually won won the championships and I won the four fifty championship. <sighs> what the I'm sucking now. Like yeah, it came down to the final race. And me and my brother was bound for the championship. Do you ride up bikes? Uh, yes, I do.
I want a Kawasaki 250. I'm making moves. At least the top ten. Yeah, this is one of my worst aces. I bought a 65 Yamaha. I remember those 65 days. I actually won three championships on my 65. Two of I, I did I won two motocross championships and a uh, a woods racing championship. Then I just started on woods and just starting to focus on motocross. See, like the only bikes I've, I ever rode was a uh, KTM and a uh, Kawasaki. Nice, man. Dang, you, you, so you do you do those woods racing. I used to be able to do woods, but I couldn't stop hitting trees and stuff. Like, one time, like, it was the first lap. You could tell it was me, because I had the tape where you could go on the, like, shows you the track area. It was all over my bike. Like, I had it off my, just going off my bike. Because I thought, like, I just held it wide open when I was doing woods racing. Yeah, so yeah, you couldn't miss me when I was doing this racing. Because I was the person who always had tape on their bike. After one lap. Uh. Up to 20th. What's that guy doing, man? Do you man, all the way up to uh, come on, come on, get up to ten. Just slicing through this pack, man. Man, I'm gonna just 
sec. I hate that shit, it's like... That one to one? Yes. Except for a second, and he got the pass made. Power going again. Yep. Our next one is Tim Ferry. And Malcolm still in the way now. What day do you stream on? Um, so far I've been streaming every day this week. I try to. Sometimes, like, there's always the short streams on the week on the weekdays, but I most likely try to stream every day. But I'll make a if I can, I'll make a post on my Instagram. My Instagram's my YouTube name for updates about if I'm on stream or not. But most likely, I stream on Saturdays. And Friday nights. That's on my those are my long streams. But well, as of right now, I've been streaming um every day this week. Do you have a face cam? Um, my the goal is if I hit 300 subscribers, I will get a face cam. So yeah, if I hit 300 subscribers, I will get a face cam and. That's the goal. Yeah, if I hit 300 subscribers, face cam. White flag, one to go. Yeah, like I, like I try to stream like every day. As of the, as of this week, I've been streaming at se starting my streams at 7 p.m. Like doing like doing these auto championships. But like on Friday nights, I play online. Here he comes, Malcolm Stewart. Final corner is going to win the season finale and your 450 Supercross Championship. Here are the official results of the main Malcolm Stewart Let's takes the win. Pam Ferry second and Marvin Muskan third. Your final point standings are Malcolm Stewart with 12 wins to his name. Marvin Muskan second with two wins. Cooper Webb third with one win and Ricky Johnson Fourth with one win and Eli Tomac fifth with zero wins. But Fantastic now Malcolm guys. Stewart is your 450 Supercross Championship champion. So yeah, if you like this, like I just said, when I hit 300 subscribers, that is the goal. I will get a face cam. So yeah, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good day, everybody.